this is crazy. Like the thunder's not stopping. <laughs> At least the lightning strikes, like when they happen, I could count to two. I think that was one. Yeah, three. Got the three. So they're a little ways away. Okay, here's the situation. Major rain, hail, storm. Right now, I gotta try to keep that it off. Down that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Uh, I think I gotta check my guy lines. Gonna get on my right. Oh, shit. Oh, so I can show you everything. Here's everything. It's getting a little serious. Uh, I gotta go out there and check my guy lines. I think they're pretty good, but I have to knock a lot of the hail off this door, uh, my tent. It's been some massively crazy weather here. I can this just happened in the last half hour. Hopefully this goes in soon. Okay, in a hail storm, this is really weird. Knocking off the snow and hail off my tent. It's clear over there. What's going on? All right, hopefully this ends soon. Holy shit. Damn, guys. Uh. Huh. Major hail storm. Oh, my tent slides. This has been quite the half hour. Major hail storm. You can see the snow out there. Or the hail piling up. Be going on. And I have been kicking. Alright. Situation is a little scary. Um, major wind, thunder. Hail storm. Oh shit. See all the hail under there? Um, and I have had to constantly ah, kick it off my tent to keep it from collapsing. I'm in my rain gear. I went out early to check the guy lines are good. But, uh, yeah. Make sure. Alright. Pro tip. I'd flip it around to talk to you, but it'd be too bright. My head left one. But, oh, um, Make sure your guy lines and everything are good when you go in your tent. Luckily for me, that's one of my things that I'm anal about. And when uh, this started, look at that. See all that? Half hour. That's hail falling off my tent. Um... When I went out and checked them, all my guy lines were good. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, let's see if I can make this brighter. There we go. It's calmed down enough for me to go out and check everything, my guy lines. <sighs> Ooh, that was a doozy, guys. It's gonna be fun to get out in the morning. Oops. Uh, all right. Damn. <laughs> it is too tight. Uh, is this more hell? God bless America. Where's it gonna stop? Everything's tight. All right, everybody. So, guidelines are good. 
Can't forget the guy line going in the tree, keeping him up. I think I'm okay, because it's about to stop, I hope. According to the ra radar, my brother said. So, what a crazy half hour, my God. All right. It was another cold one. It's snowing in my tent. <laughs> my tent is frozen. Inside and out, this is going to be cold. 5.30 in the morning. All right. 5.36 in the morning. 32 degrees. A little wind. Warming up because I'm moving. Here's my campsite. <sighs> I talk shit about my tent, but it saved me. I think it literally... Might have saved my life last night. Um, just had it set out properly and it withstood the wind in the hill. I'll stop talking talking shit about it. But still a ton of condensation. <laughs> Frozen in the morning. Night hiking. Early morning hiking is not night hiking, bro. Uh, it is so cold that my friends who know me will be shocked to hear this. That I started the hike in long pants and my light heart gear police, which I love. I am wearing my gloves. I have my hood up. Did not wear a beanie. Not that cold. I mean, it's cold enough that I'm fully geared up with gloves and pants and a fleece on. Um, yeah. Last night was quite the night. Well, quite the 45 minutes. Um, I was, if you saw in the video, we'll probably open this day video with the storm from last night. Um, but then I showed you the parts that I was able to film. <laughs> There's most of it I could not. Um, but I was fully in rain gear and ready to, uh, slack pack out there, out of here. So I think the four miles down to the road or whatever. I don't know what I was going to do, but I was pre fully prepared to, like, go somewhere. Because I wasn't 100% sure my tent would survive. But it did. And the Gossamer gear of the two. You are one storm, wind handling, mofo of a tent. What you can't handle is condensation. But, I love you. <laughs> I think you saved me yesterday. And you will never be sold because of that. All right, I'll record later. Too cold. Lights trickling in distance. I'm pretty sure that's Palm Springs. First time we've seen lights though, on a whole trip. Well, I was able to wear my fleece for uh, an hour. <laughs> now back to this. Got hot. Got a feeling I'm be. There's gonna be an explosion of sunlight right up here. We'll see it together. And I never told you my plan for today. Plan for today, one of the reasons why I'm up so early is I'm trying to make it to Paradise Valley Cafe before three o'clock for the close. That was 18.8 18, 18 .8 miles. Start of the day, I have three miles in. 15 more miles to go, it's seven o'clock. Be nice if I get there right around lunch. And then uh, I'll probably pitch my tent around there. Um, and then come back for breakfast the next morning. Uh, sooner or later though, I'm definitely going to have to take my tent out, dry it. So heavy on the backpack. I didn't put it in my backpack. So I'm on top with a Y strap. That comes with the Superior Wilderness Designs Rugged Long Haul 50. Prince the Purple Mile Eater goes by the pronouns of hers, herself, and her. Got those backwards. All right, beautiful morning. Great weather to hike. I took off my fleece, hiking just in my shirt. Gloves are still on though. Remember, hands get cold. But what a beautiful day. 
Okay, I'm at the Tool Spring or Tule Spring, T U L E, however you want to pronounce it. Spring. Um, there's a water tank. It's got a hose coming out of it. Don't know why. I don't know if you're supposed to siphon it out, but it's frozen. The hose, every all the water in the hose is frozen. So down here though, I was like looking around. How else do you get water? And I saw this, which leads you to this very steep climb down to the actual spring um and i know this is really really clean water with the uh algae that was growing around it and uh so filled up a liter and a half and my 750 so i got about two liters of water to get me the rest of the way i think um but yeah it's just this is very confusing and i was even on gut hook gut hook somebody left said there's a spigot below the cistern the hell does that mean I, what the, what does that mean <laughs> so there is no spigot that i can find I just saw the hose coming out of the tank don't even know if there's water in the tank but just go down there that's where the water's at okay here's the sign for the tuli spring uh what i would do if you're with two or three people is i would leave your packs here well send one person down and have the other people watch the packs and because that is a quarter mile downhill and it's eh, the road's, dirt, road's kind of steep but at the end it gets really steep steeper and then it's steep to go down to the water if i was with somebody else i would have left my backpack right there and gone down uh there's a great campsite you're a little exposed see it right there um and you'll have access to water all night yeah coming up on that concrete tank water tank that no one drinks from unless you're coming here in late may maybe because it's absolutely freaking disgusting i'm sure animals have fallen in here and gross all right no more filming until i get my time before 10 i'll let you know when it happens miles up so yeah uh up to about i'm want to do 18 a day and uh uh yeah so 18 probably start 20 after san Jacinto. we'll see uh, here we, uh, oh shoot i am recording all right at mile 145 at the little library Ooh, let me turn it around make it easy got henry david thoreau john muir I've been on your trail. It's great. And Walt Whitman. You got the uh, library. And the backpacker. Little Al. I'm sorry. Could be official now after this. And Rich actually recognized me walking up. And uh, he's thinking about the summit name. I mean, the trail name Summit. So, and... I, we've been leapfrogging. I don't know your name. What's your name? Uh, they've been calling me Utah. Utah. All right. Okay. All right. And so there's Utah, but this is a nice little area. Oh, trash! 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 The favorite thing a through hiker loves to do. Nope. Not throw away their teeth. Um. Where is it? Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> so that's my trash. It'll stay. But you could uh, dump your trash. There's some really good spots, I think, probably up there that are flat. A little slightly down here, right here. Um, where you get your water. Coming right here. And here's where you get the water. Alrighty. A couple other hikers. But this is the biggest gathering of hikers I've seen at one spot in two days. <laughs> Coming uphill. Of course, I start recording. Dumb. Anyways, Rich, thank you very much. That was so awesome. Um, yeah, I came down to 145. I almost passed it. So I gotta take it, check it out. And then Rich recognized me. Told me I was doing a great job on my videos. I'm like, 
appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Made my day. Um, so, on my way, still probably a couple more hours, two to three more hours for a Paradise Cafe. Trying to make it there before two. For some reason, that's my goal. Um, Rich said that they might be open till seven though. Now, I'll find out and let you know. But regardless, I want a big old burger and I want a big old toilet. <laughs> So there's San Jacinto Mountain. Big decision where they're gonna go up. Actually not that big. I'm probably already decided it. I'm gonna come back and do that in a couple weeks. Uh and decide where I'll stay tonight at Paradise Cali Valley Cafe. Alright. 18.9 miles on the PCT. One mile road rock for my burger. Right up there's my burger. Yeah, very happy. Cause this is where I am now. Yay! I gotta take a shit and get a cheeseburger. <laughs> I wanted to make it here by two. It's 2.01. Uh, that's 19.9 miles. Uh, 6 a.m. to 2. Not bad. You know how it's gonna react. But you are so beautiful. To me. Oh hell no, I'm not gonna hurt myself. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It says it does 25 miles an hour. I would. Mm -mm. I want one. Okay, I'm gonna get this video up. Um, <clears throat> looks like me, my new hiking partner, and it looks like we'll be together for a while because uh, we now we're gonna. Her name's Utah. Uh, her trail name. <laughs> I don't know her real name. Uh, you saw her earlier in the video. Um, we'll be here for a couple days um, in Idlewild and then skip ahead to mile 206. It looks like there's, uh, well, the PCTA put out a advisory of not to go into, um, what do you call it, the San Jacinto Mountains, and I was almost gonna do <clears throat> the 18.8 miles up to Spitler, uh, turnoff, uh, spur trail, down into Idlewild, but I'll just come back in three weeks, like everyone else is gonna be doing that's most people are skipping up to mile 206 because there's also a fire closure because of burn scar um so basically <clears throat> most people i know are skipping into mile 206 and we'll start there again on friday or saturday uh sucks being off the trail once you get your legs i hate being off the trail um for that long zero is fine but uh so we have a zero tomorrow that's right we have a zero tomorrow um pick going to the mail uh pick up my package which is cool, and then uh, Utah and I will talk about how we're going to get up to mile 206. Again, thanks for watching. It's been a blast. Um, I Oh, I'm obviously <laughs> really bougie tonight. I have a nice room with a kitchen and stuff. I'm going to go get some food tomorrow and cook. And uh, yeah, um... So I'll probably be posting again in, well, I'll give a, a little tour of Idlewild, Idlewild, show you where uh, everything is, or <laughs> try to find it and then show you where everything is. And uh, so I'll probably post that tomorrow. All right. Oh, and what I'm going to get at the post office. I'll post that tomorrow too.